<sighs> What's up, beautiful nature family? We're in the middle of a hike. We just climbed like off-road straight up a hill here. It's like, whoosh, there was no road. It was just, we dressed up and prepared like thick clothes and stuff because I did it earlier today a little bit and I started bleeding on my legs soon. Stuff everywhere. <sighs> Look at the view, but anyway, we're going up there. There's a abundance of trees that are not being used and not picked and the fruit is getting old just outside there and there that is not in someone's greenhouse so we're gonna go check out the abundance of nature see you in a moment what about the goats straight from the motherfucking hill like. oh my gosh this is not the way this is not the way. oh see that one Oh no. It's okay. <laughs> First thing we come up, infinite supply of avocados. But that we have basically everywhere. <laughs> Whew. That was a mission. Well, it's fun to climb. It's a workout. Look at all this. Look at all these pomegranates. They're going old. Just falling the ground, no one's eating them, and they're like perfect. Look at that one there, it's like. Hold on, yeah. Check that one on the floor there, here. Yeah, yeah, There's more ones up here. Some of them are overripe, but there's even more one in this tree, so. See all in a moment. Whew. A completely perfect one. Is it Athena? The Greek one with the pomegranates, or is it another one? But it's abundant here with them. Look at this magic. Before I came to Spain here, I've never seen pomegranates like this on a tree. It's an amazing sight. A real beauty. Thank you, God. Thank you, nature. Thank you, Mother Earth. Take. Look at this beautiful fig tree. This is fresh figs off the tree. Oh, wow. They're so tasty. Like They're so sweet and amazing. And if you didn't know, figs use like wasps or bees that they eat to bloom. And it's a very special fruit. It's a flower, apparently. Yeah. An but inverted flower. The interesting thing with figs is that when they're mature, First these go soft, so they're hard first, like this one's hard, this one's soft, so you can eat it. But after a while, when they go like overripe, they don't go bad. First they go like almost a little bit like a jam. So instead of like a soft fruit, they start tasting like you're eating like a jam, like strawberry jam or something. And then they dry. I don't know if there's any perfect dried ones here. But then they dry and you can still eat this inside. This is like getting a dried fig from the supermarket. On the tree. On the tree. This one tasted a little bit alcoholic even. Oh, yeah, yeah. But sometimes they get perfectly dried on the tree too. Look how many figs there are. Like, ah, the dog. The dog, but <laughs> look. I, I, I lost the dog. Take this. Lost the dog. Well, honestly, look at this tree like just keep going like a little bit hard one this is a perfect one heaven look at this the sugar coming out it looks and in the bag Whew. Yum. free food wow we're foraging these are all going to waste anyway. They're dropping on the ground, drying, and all the pomegranates too. They're all going bad. Like. We're saving it. Yay! Now we're at the next little... They look like lemons. I thought they were lemons when I came here first. But they're so Spanish type apples, like I ate them. And I tasted them. And they're a bit hard. But inside, they look like an apple. I'm just going to show you guys. Venus, what you doing? Venus. 
I think you're like an apple. Super strange, huh? A little bit hairy. I don't know what it is. I'm just going to do it. If anyone knows the exact name, maybe we Google it and plant net it in a moment. But if you know, comment. If you know what to do with them. All I thought they were some kind of apples that you're supposed to like. Cooking apples. Cooking right? apples, but we're not sure. They're pretty cool at least. <laughs> That's so weird. Bom shiva. There's so much things we don't know about in nature and fruits and everything. Dino. What's up? In the middle of the climb. Here's some mango trees. In the middle of a mango farm. We got Ari. Dino. Sunshine on the off-road missions with shoes even because it's fucking dangerous thorns and shit around here. This is a rare sight, guys. We got the face of God. Nature. <sighs> Big moment of silence. Pause for some stillness. Look at this. Some of these need eating right now because it's literally such a hike down the steep hill of the mountain. So a lot of them got crushed, but they still taste like heaven. So just a little mountain mission on people's trees. They're anyway going bad. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Maybe, oh, we found out what the fruits was called. I plant netted it. It's a quince. It's a quince. Kvittens, or kvitten in Swedish. It's not an apple at all. It's like an ancient apple. <laughs> that they say aren't edible raw, but it's not completely true. They're just more acidic raw. But when you take a bite in them, they're like a little bit chewy, but they're still sweet. But online it said if you cook them, they turn super sweet. So and, and red apparently. And there were also something about the Bible in like well, the forbidden fruit and how it was the fruit given to Aphrodite, the goddess of love, and there's things with these ones in Greek mythology, and then there's things with this, this one. The fig and... tree also has something in the Bible that I don't remember exactly what it is. But look at it. Look at well, it's it. ancient, it's ancient fruits. For the alkaline system. Biochemistry, my friends. Eat living food. It makes you feel more alive. Imagine that. One plus one is two. I love you all so much. Like, comment, share the video. Say something you want to see me do or anything. Any tips, ideas. I'm flowing. I'm ready to make content. And... Uh, I love you all so much. Have a blessed day, a blessed evening, whatever. All the love, all the power. Peace out.